It's me, Nick, the super awesome LEGO builder himself, and today I am back with another super awesome LEGO model, and as you can probably already tell, this today I will not be reviewing um, a super awesome LEGO ADU model, but, but instead, today we are going to be reviewing a, a much older LEGO model of mine. Well, it's, I mean, not super old, but the LEGO model that I did actually make a lot long, uh, kind of a while ago, actually. And this is a Lego Creator, not, it's not minifigure scale, no, Safari vehicle. And what makes this vehicle especially interesting is because it is actually made of 100% per, out of pieces from the Lego Creator Highway Speedster set. Now, so if you remember the Highway Speedster set, it was a it was a little it was a pretty cool Lego Creator set that was um and it was a high, it was like a supercar made out of Legos that rebuilt into a tow truck and sort of a antique Speedster, though they referred to it as a race car. So, the model is very nice, instead of using, um, uh, um, the long blue pieces, um, hold stud pieces, I use some smaller ones to give it sort of its forward tilt and simulate suspension, which I think worked out very nicely. If I had worked out the concept better, I would actually be reviewing a much cooler looking model, but... But Pagani Hyura I made really wasn't working out well. So back here, as you as you can see right in here, they're just two seats, and in here there's a steering wheel. There's just a steering wheel and two red little dots that are intended to resemble gas gauges and just speed dials and stuff. Up front, the windshield is, um, there's one of the problems, the windshield is just made of, um, two, it's just made of a normal Lego windshield, only it's just up front forward, just, let me just get that into place here, I just look off the screen a little bit, there, sorry, this is This is sort of, this, I will admit, this is looking decent, but this does have a few problems. That's one of them. The other problem is that these front wheels are very frimsily attached on because of the way I use these two, these little circular one-by-ones panels to simulate suspension, and that does get a good effect. I just put them in the front, so... Put, put like, um, independent suspension in front and chain suspension in back. You know, there are no passengers in the seats back here. It does have big, nice big windows. Down up here, it has headlights. It has headlights, like, up high ones. This is, like, the fog lights or something. Like, and these are held on by the minifigure back pack peg type pieces that I'm pretty sure um it was that um the headlights were held on with the original highway speedster set. And I also think the tires look very good on this because they look as if they are nice off road it's sort of like off road sand dune tires, like they're tires that would be good in sand but It'd also be good if it did have to go in a little bit of mud or jungly area. So I think it worked. It's not really clear where the engine is because there is a grill up here. Oh, it is roughly small, but back here is also these like these big vents of you can you can't see it there. Like there are these big vents 
And but down here there is also an exhaust pipe which I also made out of the huge quantities of one by round one by ones that's just popped on to the back of a one by one axle holder piece just put up there and put up there well maybe it goes yeah I actually think it's supposed to go yeah I think it's actually supposed to go down there like there's not there's nothing holding this in place aside from that top part so that's never one of the things that often comes off Now the other thing I noticed about this is that it actually doesn't have any tail lights, but it does just have these little red things that sort of simulate tail lights very slightly. And it has side view mirrors like this, just right here, simulated. So just wanted to give you a good. And actually another cool thing I did is that on the side there's actually inside the back tires are coming off as a matter of fact but I actually used original Lego one by one front peg Erlings, that's the name for them um, pieces that they were put in here um, to give the appearance of in, of a doorknob or a door handle I guess so, I pretty much think this is every I've this I've covered everything that this, this set has to offer. It, it, this isn't one of my favorite sets, but I do enjoy I enjoy making it, and I do think it does look nice. But I just want and I did want to review it so I could start building the highway speedster sets again. Maybe I'll even like come up with some super SUV or something, something like that. But anyway, remember and remember if you don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and I will see you in another Lego review video. Goodbye.